Hey chickies, here at Oh My Gosh Polish Mistakes Will Be Made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun, so you should totally subscribe now. <laughs> so today I'm doing a mani inspired by this cute little alien I found on Twitter the other day. It's the creation of a guy called Jonathan Sun. His name, or the alien's name, is Jomni. And he was apparently sent to Earth, sent here to observe Earth and uh, he meets all sorts of creatures with all sorts of perspectives on life, love and happiness and all while learning to feel a little better about being an alien. I'm just reading off the internet. <laughs> um, I'd never heard of this guy before and I, I saw, because uh, I follow the New York Times on Twitter, and I saw that they had done a piece on him and I read it and it was just so cute. And now I'm going to buy the book because he, he, uh, he made a book or he wrote a book about his little alien. And the book is called Everyone's an Alien Until, uh, sorry, Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien too anyway I just thought it was really cute and I thought it was it would just be really really perfect for little nails because I've got little nails at the moment so anyway I really hope you like it I'll put links down below this is not sponsored not I don't even he doesn't even know who I am God, <laughs> definitely doesn't know who I am but um, I, I'll put links down below so you can go and check it out and see what he's all about but it's a really cute little thing it's really cute I love it now for the base on all of my nails, I'll be using my all-time favourite matte black polish which is called Matte is Murder by Manglaze. It is yum. But I also wanted to mention very quickly that I'm using a new base, base coat. It is um, from the Essie's Treat Love and Colour collection. They sent it to me the other day. This one, uh, they didn't have names on them so I had to write them on and then I smudged it. It's called Treat Me Bright, this one. It's the white one. Um, but you can see it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. It's kind of sweet. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how, what I think about it in a couple of weeks but anyway back to this man glaze matte is murder my favorite matte black polish you can buy it um, especially if you live in the US and Canada but there are way other ways to get it um, through other websites anyway I'll put links in the description box down below so you can go and see if you can get this stuff because if you can you should get it because it's brilliant one coat black matte yum it's just delicious here is your nail cleanup porn for this video. For those of you who do enjoy it, enjoy. For those of you who don't, please skip ahead now. For the nail art we're using white acrylic craft paint and a little bit of black acrylic craft paint too but firstly we're going to do white and I'm using my very fine detail brush um, which is one of three from the set that I got on eBay super cheap. Uh, I did actually check the link the other day and it looks like they're selling it for $2.55 um, American at the moment so for the, all three brushes so that's great. Now uh, I'm in, completely inspired by Johnny Sun's uh, book cover. Um, for the everyone's an alien um, when you're an alien too. I understand that there's a B in the way he spells alien. That's because it, the little alien Jomni is the one that spelt it and he's not really great at spelling just yet. So it's so cute. I love it so much. Anyway, now ordinarily I would have done these stars using the toothbrush, mesh, ugh, toothbrush method to get that real random star feel, but we are not going for that kind of feel with this one because I'm being inspired by the book cover uh, there's a kind of an almost oh look at that this is the second time I've been doing voiceovers and getting messages at the same time so I swear you must think I'm super popular <laughs> not it never happened um, okay so as I was saying it's there's a kind of a deliberateness to where the little spots are so that's why I'm using the brush instead of the toothbrush that's a very long-winded explanation for that, but yeah, anyway. Now, you'll notice that I'm leaving a little space in the um, corner of my nail, not putting a lot of dots down there because that's where the little alien's going to go. Little Jomni. He's so cute. I love him. I haven't even got the book yet, and I already am in love with him. Fail safe measure because you know I do make mistakes. Uh, I'm adding a coat of Sesh Feet over the top of my matte black polish right now because that will mean that if I make a mistake when I paint the little alien 
I won't have to redo the whole thing. I won't have to redo all of those stars, which I quite like and I'm really proud of those. So I didn't want to have to do that. So we're going to do the little alien and firstly, his little head is like a little peanut, not, or like a jelly bean, not peanut. Well, I suppose it's like a jelly bean. I mean a peanut. Either way, it's like a little jelly bean, but not a severe jelly bean. More like a broad bean. Ugh, I hate broad beans. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, or like a kidney bean. I like kidney beans. It's, it's shaped like a kidney bean. Now, I didn't do all of his body, and I'm not generally great at doing these sorts of paintings, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and it probably would have been easier if I did it. Um, no, that's probably not true. Either way. So I'm just doing his little body, and he's all pretty much all white um, with two little black eyes and a little black mouth. So um, I did try to do his arms and his hands, but um, I just could not get that done. So I made it look like his right arm was um, around his back, and I didn't give him a left arm at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that wasn't very nice. Anyway, it wasn't personal. It was just, you know, my own artistic limitations were there and I had to work with them. So next came time for his little eyes and initially I thought yeah the tiniest dotting tool I have which is this one uh, actually I've got a couple of the same sorts of one but the, you know that's the tiniest dotting tool I have and so I thought that would be good enough but because I'm painting him so small um, well as you can see even those teeny tiny little dots they're just too big and I didn't put a coat of sesh feet over his initial head and body so I'm going to have to fix that somehow and and because the, the acrylic craft paint doesn't take very long to dry um, anyway <laughs> I went back over it with a little bit of white in a minute I'll show you but first I'm going to do his little mouth and he's just got this tiny little little sort of teeny tiny little mouth it's not huge but as you can see the eyes are way too big so I'm going to come back in with my fine detail brush and some white acrylic craft paint initially I tried to just paint them smaller but then I just went over them <laughs> um, because it just wasn't working so I went over them with a bit of white because the white acrylic craft paint I've got is really good and it's pretty opaque like almost completely opaque so um, that wasn't a problem and then I ended up using just the very tip of the fine detail brush for the eyes and that worked out so much better. Now you see the, in this section this is when I was full filled with um, optimism and I thought yep I can get this done I can do that I can do his little arm and his little hand and it's not going to be a problem but um, as you can see <laughs> no it just it no it wasn't gonna work um yeah no <laughs> yeah but anyway things happen and things don't work out the way you expect them to initially I thought oh gosh this is starting to look like Casper the ghost but no uh, it I mean it worked out really well in the end I think um, it doesn't look exactly like the book but that's okay just remember I said inspired by not copying not copying it <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I had tried a couple more times with the um, with the arm and the hand, but uh, ended up just making it, a, you know, completely different. <laughs> I'll just I'll just stop rambling now and let you watch what I did, and you'll see. It's fine. It worked out fine in the end, I think. But anyway. Now, of course, once everything is completely dry, you want to go ahead and seal it in with your favorite top coat. Now, I ultimately wanted this to be matte, so I then, after top coating it with sesh feet, as per usual, I then mattified it with Cirque Colors Matte Look Top Coat. 
And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I hope you look up my inspiration because I think everyone would probably get um, something out of, even if you just follow him on Twitter and read some of his things. It's just, he's lovely. He's such a cute little alien. He's very sweet. Anyway, uh, don't forget all the details about everything I use and everything I'm inspired by is always in the description box down below as per usual. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to go and watch whatever video pops up on your screen. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because, you know, it's free. I'll go now. Bye.